Hallo, ich heiße Laura. Hallo, schön dich kennenzulernen. Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bull Motorsports. Today we're going to show you a beautiful 1974 BMW 2002. It's an Alpina recreation. Wide body, this thing is awesome. If you guys want to find out more information on this ride or any of our inventory like this 2017 BMW M5, which is headed to bring a trailer, click on the link below. It'll tell you if we're going to be doing auction format, retailing it, and if you guys need help with financing or transportation, we got you covered. Let's get back to this one. Overall condition, I'd rate this easily a seven and a half to eight out of 10. Shows extremely well. Uh, the orange paint is even throughout, and then there is a black vinyl wrapping on the top and on the deck lid and on the sides. Does have fiberglass flares on the front and the rear. Underside's very clean, so you'll be able to see photos of the underside in our gallery in the link below. As you look at the roof line, there's no dents or dimples. All the glass is original, glass goes up and down easily. It has a very healthy M20 power plant, and we just sent it over to our friends at Cab Customs. They did a complete service on it. We actually are sending it back so they can finish up uh, some of the work. We had to order some parts. So they're going to do the brakes, um, along with a host of other things. I believe the accelerator valve on the carburetor needs to be replaced as well. I'm gonna open up the hood. We'll start off with the fun stuff. So it's an M20, carbureted M20. Made it to a five-speed transmission. Nice and tidy if you come to this side. This is the same motor that we used in our chump car, which is an E30 race car, but we had fuel injection. It's a, I mean, we did 24-hour endurance races at Redline the whole time. You never really have any issues with these motors. They're bulletproof. Uh, glass up front is extremely clean. You can see that they painted the engine bay as well. There's your tagging with the VIN number and it's all structurally sound, nice and solid metal. It shows very well too. So if you bring this to a car show, you're probably gonna get everybody looking at it. When you do this side profile right here, you're gonna see all those fender flares and that really sets it apart from the other ones. You do have a set of yellow headlights up front and that front valence as well to replicate the Alpina livery. It does have a set of Alpina style wheels on there and those are real, those are not fake. Rolling on a set of Firestones, all the body lines are straight, and you can actually start it up easily. Let's see if the key's in it. Starts up easily. We're gonna step inside right now so you can see the interior. Interior has a set of Recaro seats. Steering wheel is aftermarket. It's a uh, replica Nardi steering wheel. Shifter is very nice, it's a five speed, still has a factory style radio and you can see the dash is from the Alpina. Dash is extremely clean, so there's no bubbling on the top half. Headliner is very nice and all your rubber is extremely nice as well. This is a great driver car, so you can push this through corners and we're gonna show you that right now. Let me pop the trunk. Battery is located over here. You do have a spare tire. So there's a battery mount. Uh, your fuel pump is right here as well, so it's easy to access. Uh, fire extinguisher, close the trunk. Let me start it up for you. So it's carbureted, you just give it one pump. Turn the ignition on, you'll hear the fuel pump running. Make sure it's in neutral. Nice and healthy. So you have two banks that go into one exhaust system. So you'll see that in the pictures in our gallery, which you click on the link below. We're inside the cabin right now. Headliner is very nice. A couple minor imperfections. Glass is very nice. Uh, you do have your cigarette lighter here. 
rear defrost, which is set up, your lights, which operate. And I drove this 35 miles uh, and it drives great. The emergency brake will hold it. You let off, it starts rolling. Radio doesn't turn on. There's your hazards, little ashtray, and a nice pocket right here. Let's put it in gear and go for a ride. Clutch is easy. Feels like a little go-kart. So as I said, we're gonna go through the brakes. Uh, the only thing, the only reason we're doing that is because I felt the pulsation when they get hot. So we had to source the brake rotors and we'll get that taken care of way before this auction goes live. Let me lock the front end. Transmission feels great. Nice and smooth. Brakes are working fine. I just had that little pulsation that I talked about and we're gonna remedy that. We're going into fourth right now. I would say we're going around 45 miles an hour right now. Turn signal indicator does work and we'll push it through the corners here when we get to 36 Terrace. Downshifts are easy. And the suspension is nice and tight. It's firm. I apologize for the wind noise. My overall impressions right now, you can drive this anywhere. Um, it's definitely unique. We had to ship this in from Germany. We did all the importation work. Uh, we also had it been verified and we have all the documentation showcasing that this is legal in the United States. We're going over some bumps right now. Nice and firm. Steering is very precise. It's not loose. You can hear the secondaries open up in the carb. We're gonna downshift it. Yeah. We have to get a accelerate. Let me do the acceleration. So here is the acceleration. Oh, I love it. So when you hear that, the secondary is opening up? Yep, that's the nice. secondary is opening up. We'll test out this corner here if we can. It drives good. It's a nice one. All right, let's see how she feels. Not bad. Oh, I feel like I'm in the E30 again. Not that I was gonna say, I'm sure it reminds me of the good old days. Oh yeah. do it really nice here. It's not nice. All right, we're going to test out the acceleration. Whoa. Not bad. Very smooth power delivery. See the tack where I bring it to?
you guys enjoyed that test drive. If you have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. See you later.